Okay, this video is going to be probably really short and sweet, and it's really one of those things I would have to show you a little bit more in class than usual, or maybe get you through it, but it's really not a bad concept at all, and just two slides really, and here we go. Um, first of all, I want you to think back to scatter plots. When we did scatter plots, we've done those lately on our, on our test, but um, sometimes real life data, and this is like month and average temperature, with you know month one being January, month twelve being December, you know what happens with temperature. And if you look at the graph, if you look at these temperatures, you see that they go up back here in the summertime. Then they start going back down as it gets closer to winter time again. And if you look at the graph right there, it looks like a you know cosine or sine graph. And they're going to have you do sine graphs or sine functions today, trying to fit this data into a sine function. So what I did right here is I went ahead and took all these points and put them on this. A graph here like a scatter plot and again it's not exactly a perfect curve but it's pretty close and they want you to come up with the best uh, the best function you the best sign function you can to kind of match that graph so what I did first of all is I looked at, the, at what the period would be I know there's 12 months so now the period is 12 that's that's pretty obvious right there so um, what I did is I did okay this is remember what we did with period 2 pi divided by b always equals what your new period is so cross multiplied, 12b is 2 pi, divided by 12, I got pi over 6. That's my b, that's what's going to go in front of my x. That's what I put right there. Now to get the rest of it, the graph did not start at 0, but it started at 1, so it's been shifted over 1. Remember, sine usually starts at 0. Um, it's also, because it usually starts at 0 and goes up, down, up. You know, this is just this part of the sine graph, obviously, but... Um, it's been shifted up 25, so almost 25. That's an estimate. That's really 23.8 right there, and that's 27.7 right there. So I kind of took the middle. Now to figure out amplitude, what is I found the middle of the graph, and I kind of estimated that the bottom line was about 25, the top of the graph was about 75. So halfway between 75 and 25 is 50. Remember, amplitude is how far up you go from the middle and how far down you go from the middle. So the amplitude is about 25. So that's the function I came up with to kind of match that graph. And that's what we're going to do a little bit tomorrow in class. Now the good news is your calculator has a function that will also do it and it'll give you a very, very accurate representation. So this is another, this is actually the same things I punched in. And if you look at what they got here, quite a bit different from mine, the little guys in the calculator. Uh, there's a button in there. If you punch the list in L1 and punch your second list in L2, um, what you can do is you can hit stat calc 4 and scroll down until you find sine reg. That means regression of sine. We did lin reg before linear regression to our scatter plots and get our best line. Sine reg gets your best sign. And you ca it comes up with these letters in the calculator A sine BX plus C. Now, the reason there's going to be a tad bit different is because of this thing right here, the BX plus C. We've been putting our B on the outside instead of inside. So it's going to change your B and C a little bit from what I got. And all you got to do is once you get your A, B, and C, you plug them in that function, which looks like this. Then what you can do is you can take the function right there, and it's not way far off of mine. The X minus 4 and the last two parts is, and there's a reason for that, which we'll get in tomorrow. You can take this and punch in your Y equals and graph it on the same graph as your points are graphed on from your uh, stat plot. And that, the amazing thing is that graph goes right through all those points, which is pretty neat. And that's really what we're doing tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we'll work on it. But again, this is very short, very sweet. I don't know, very sweet, I guess, but very short. And we'll work on it in class, and you're not going to be in trouble with this at all. So I'll see you tomorrow.